Hi, my name is Lori. Welcome to my channel, Quilting with Lori. Today I'm going to share with you a great pattern. It's called uh, Scrappy Pinwheel Charms, and you're simply using 5 inch charms and 3 inch squares to create this quilt. It goes together very quickly and it really uses up a lot of your scraps. So I hope you'll take a moment to hit the like and the subscribe button, and let's get started showing you how this is done. Okay, you'll see here on my tabletop that I have charms and some three inch squares. And I simply uh, took the three inch squares and cut them diagonally across uh, both diagonals there to create four triangles. And um, one square is needed for each uh, five inch charm to create this block. I simply uh, did an edge stitch or an applique stitch on the top of each of these triangles, as you can see here. A very simple edge stitch, that is, this is on the bias, so that will um, produce a little bit of a raggedy quilt edge there once it's washed and dried, which is kind of a neat effect. So these are the blocks that you're going to be making using the 5 inch charms and the 3 inch squares. You could also, if you don't have 3 inch um, scraps, you can use 2.5 inch squares or 2 inch squares, whatever you have the most of in your stash. I had a whole lot of this uh, 3 inch uh, fabric that I wanted to use up, so I simply cut that into 3 inch squares, and that's why you see this. Now the uh, charms themselves actually uh, were donated from our quilt guild. My Cinesippi quilt guild here in Rockford just finished our um, quilt show and we had some leftovers in our Lovable Leftovers boutique and so one of the or a couple of the members cut up a bunch of the fabrics into five inch charms and the members of our guild are going to be using these charms to create generosity projects and the generosity projects will be uh, quilts for a neonatal for hospitals, for uh, shelters, for nursing homes, etc. It's a great way to be able to use up those uh, leftover charms and scraps that you might have in your stash. So now I've taken the five inch charm squares that I've appliqued with the triangles and I'm uh, c combining them with sashing. And this is one and a half inch strips by five inches long. And so you'll see the two rows here that I have uh, sewn together. I chose to have sashing within all of my blocks. You don't have to. If you put these together without the sashing, you'd have additional pinwheels between all of the blocks, which would be a neat effect as well. But I just decided I had a lot of this white one and a half inch strips and I wanted to use them. Um, for the crosswise sashing, you'll want to cut a ten and a half inch strip and put that together. And what I chose to do for pressing for this particular block, I literally did press all of the seams toward the sashing, even though it is lighter, it just seemed to lay better. There was a lot of bulk at the corners, and so I wanted it to lay more nicely, so I did press everything toward the sashing. So let's take a look at the quilt here behind me. This is a completed uh, scrappy pinwheel quilt using the five inch charms and the three inch squares. And you'll see that I have sashed it with that white honey bun fabric that I had. And it measures um, 55 wide and 80 down. So it'll be a nice size quilt for a tween, a, a teenage girl. And we'll be giving this to one of the shelters in town here. And for the quilting, I simply used a pantograph on my um, long arm. Normally I would do some custom quilting, but for this one I simply did a pantograph uh, design edge to edge across the quilt all the way down. And a real fun one to do. Um, I, I did a scrappy background as well. I have uh, put together a number of scraps that I had to be able to create a large enough backing for the back of this quilt. So I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I hope that you'll stop by my uh, our channel again soon and check out what I have for you. Please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the links below to my website. I have lots of wonderful tutorials out there as well and you can see the uh, speedy solutions to cut and organize your scrap stash lecture as well. I'll have some links below. Have a great day.